Well, welcome to the uh, second season of D's Nuts, or as uh, we like to call it, what do we like to call it again? The second coming of D's Nuts. Yes, the second, second coming. Oh, well, uh, in case you forgot, uh, I'm craving Moorhead. But then again, I'm always craving Moorhead, and, and uh, here we have... The Reno. Yeah, and uh, it's been a while. You know, uh, what the hell have we been up to in the last, you know, year and a half or so? Well, I was fighting a war. What were you doing? Uh, I was uh, fighting the horse. No, I <laughs> actually wasn't really doing much of anything. <laughs> Uh, you know what, I, I really can't explain myself for the last year and a half, but uh, I've just been patiently awaiting the time where we were able to put out another D's Nuts episode. So, uh, let's get to it. Talk about this first catch. Alright, you know, the, the first thing we have is, somehow we uh, finagled our way into the uh, Memorial Day Parade, uh, the East Providence Memorial Day Parade. Yeah. You know, the Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, Little League teams, firemen, policemen, politicians, and somehow there's a D's Nuts float in there. Yeah, yeah well, they allowed a D's Nuts float in. Uh, we worked pretty hard on it, too. We spent a lot of, well, not a lot of money, but a good amount of money. A good nickel or two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, we had a pickup truck with a trailer at the back. We had some Astro Turf thrown down, and D Reno was sitting in a toilet. What else, is, yeah. what else is new? <laughs> and uh, I was sitting in a chair. We had a, uh, a coffee table in front of us, various props like the anal lube, the Buddy Christ. Uh, and then we had another little table with a TV. We had some flags all thrown around there to, you know, make it look like it should fit in this parade. And, uh, we were going to be in the parade, but, uh, unfortunately, Mother Nature, the filthy whore that she is. parade. Yeah, she, uh, she <laughs> rained on us. So, so, uh, we were a little upset by that, but, uh, we decided, you know what, screw this. We're not going to let the rain bother us. So, no. uh, we, uh, decided to have our own parade. So, if you want to kind of elaborate on that well basically we, we decided uh they got we got called 15 minutes before the parade uh and they let us know that the parade was off and after putting all that time and effort in we were like uh no no we're gonna go ahead and have it so we went down there we we're gonna try to talk anybody that actually went down there for the parade um to try to march with us so uh, we ended up running into uh, a drum and fight uh, band. Yeah, the uh, got it written down here. The uh, Yankee Volunteers Fife and Drum Corps. Uh, they're from Seekonk, Mass, and uh, somehow they were stupid enough. Uh, maybe not stupid, nuts. but uh, they were. They, they were these nuts enough. <laughs> yeah, they were these nuts enough. They were not around, if you will. Uh, they decided to join us on uh, creating havoc throughout the Riverside area, and uh, we, you know, we started the parade by ourselves, and we, we made went it. Out of Bullets Point Avenue. And uh, back traffic up, as you'll see in the video, you, it, it's backed up pretty good. Um, six cop cars ended up coming and shut us down. You'll you'll see the beginning. You'll see a cop car come around at the end, and there was also the other ones came from the East Province, from I guess from their headquarters or whatever. And uh, yeah, they shut us down. But uh, we might as well go ahead and uh, show you that video. Yeah, we got some footage right here. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have too much of it. We got about eight to nine minutes of it uh, with the torrential rain and whatnot. Uh, Unfortunately, ruined a camera. You know what happens. Yeah. But uh, we were able to get some pretty good footage, and uh, hopefully, you know, you'll enjoy it and get a laugh because uh, somehow we uh, finagled the parade out of this monstrosity. And uh, well, you know, take a look at it. All right. There you go. <laughs> 